Yo, what is up guys? It's Gearsy here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to warm up like a pro. I'll be going over efficient ways to warm up in my updated combat training course, as well as show some other techniques I use to keep my muscle memory in shape. In the comments, feel free to share your warm up routines or how often you practice, because it's interesting to see all of the ways people improve. Anyways, with all of that said, let's jump right into it. To start things off, I want to show you guys a few techniques I quickly practice before hopping into a real game. First, I make sure I can perform a side jump and a couple pyramid jumps without failing, because if I forget to warm them up, I tend to fail a lot and during an intense situation, this happens. I also practice getting down from high ground safely because this situation happens a lot in arena or competitive games, but if you're just going into a pub game, don't worry about it too much. Anyways, one technique that I see almost every pro player practice is tunneling slash turtling. It's very important to be able to tunnel flawlessly so you don't have to slow down when rotating in a tiny circle, and it's important to know how to turtle quickly in case you are low on HP. Now don't forget that warming up your aim is just as important as warming up your builds and edits if not more important. But luckily, I added a brand new free build room to my combat training course so you can practice your builds, edits, and aim all in the same map. I also added 3 more spawn pads so you can enjoy the course with up to 3 friends. The code you are seeing on screen is the version of the course that features all 3 new weapons and the free build room. When warming up my aim, I always do at least one quick run of the course, but I spend most of my time in the shotgun flick room because I can improve my ADS aim and hipfire aim with both weapons in the same place. For example, here you can see Tifu using his assault rifle in the shotgun room because it makes the targets harder to hit since your reticle is smaller, meaning you can warm up your general hipfire aim by doing this. And don't get me wrong, using the shotgun is still highly effective, but you want to make sure you're warming up your ADS and hipfire aim, not just one or the other. Practice this for about 5 minutes and you should be ready for a real match. Here are some common building techniques that people use to warm up their muscle memory. Disclaimer, these methods are a waste of materials and are most likely not going to be used in a real match. They are used to get your hands and fingers warmed up. 3 story 90s 3 layer ramp rushes And the high ground push Doing building methods like these is fine, but just remember that they aren't really practical to use in a real match. Now if you have a friend to warm up slash practice with, there are some fun and effective ways you can warm up. First is XJ's game, where one person starts inside the turtle and is trying to eliminate the person who is outside the turtle, trying to pressure them. It's great for pro players and beginners because it helps you warm up and practice your close quarter combat. You can also just do a normal 1v1 with your friend, but make sure that you make it realistic by turning infinite materials off and playing it smart. That's why I like to start my 1v1s from a distance with a realistic amount of materials and ammo. This helps you practice for a real game, which I like a lot better. Last, but definitely not least, we have a very overlooked skill, which is editing while extremely close to a build. This happens a lot in competitive games where you are being pressured by the storm and have to quickly rotate by editing out of your box or the wall that's in front of you. The thing is, editing when touching a wall is extremely hard to do fast, so people tend to mess it up, especially when under pressure. To build a warm-up, place boost pads on either side and walls in between each pad to make this mini course. Feel free to make it as long as you want. Then, simply practice making a variety of edits to improve this underrated skill. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed or found any useful ways to warm up, consider dropping a like and feel free to subscribe to the channel for more Fortnite content just like this. Also, another awesome way you can support me is by using code GEARSY in the item shop before making a purchase. Anyways, with all of that said, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace!